Hello, everyone, and welcome to A Day in the Life of Desiree's Actor Spotlight. Today, I'm speaking with the lovely and talented Erica Hubbard. Erica first started out modeling, but her beautiful face and bubbly personality opened even more doors. In fact, she's been all over television. You may have first recognized her from the movie Akilah and the Bee or from the ABC series Lincoln Heights. But over the years since then, she's done so much like BET series Let's Stay Together, Chicago Med, and many, many more. Plus movies galore, like Annette Galloway's Just a Friend, Christopher Nolan's Professor Mack, Warren Pemberton's The Other Side, and the list literally goes on and on and on for Erica. Today we're going to discuss a brand new film that's airing on BET, directed by Chris Stokes, called Fall Girls. Erica Hubbard, it's so nice to have you on my show today. Welcome. Hi, Desiree. It's Erica Hubbard. Thank you so much for having me on your Person of Prominence interview segment today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me on your show, Desiree. And I'm excited. I'm so excited about Fall Girl. I appreciate yes. it. <laughs> I am. I'm so excited about it, too. We all are. So, I mean, wow, you have done some amazing things. So many television shows, movies, commercials, you name it, you've done it. Can you share a little bit about how you got started with acting and modeling? Sure. Um, well, I got started with acting. Well, first it was modeling. So I was um, modeling for Sears a long time ago. I was like eight or nine. And um, I just I just took a, a liking to it. I was, you know, trying so many different clothes. And, and what girl naturally doesn't want to try and clothes and kind of prance around in them, you know? <laughs> right. Like, absolutely. I, I, <laughs> right, right. It's, you know, at eight or nine, I'm like, this is cool. I get to change different outfits and smile and, you know, pose. So I just like that. And um, one of the photographers took me aside and was like, you know, you're so personable um, that you should try out commercials. And I'm like eight or nine years old. And I'm like, well, I like bottling. Like, okay, if you think so. <laughs> so I had no clue. So but I told my parents. And my parents was like, yeah, well, let's talk to the agency about it. And then the agent was like, well, cool, we'll throw you in some commercials. And literally, I start like, doing a lot of commercials. And then, of course, they had to talk with me. Well, since you like commercials, why don't you consider television and film? I'm like, what? It's still kind of one thing led to the other. Yeah, yeah. And it definitely led to some amazing things for you. And so now let's talk about Fall Girls. It's a, a movie written and directed by Chris Stokes for BET with a great cast, like the amazing Erica Hubbard, of course, oh, and a singer Amara La Negra, Cami Roman, and Paris Phillips and Erica Peoples and Jolie Fisher. And it's premiering this Saturday, and the trailer is absolutely hilarious. Tell us all about the movie. Oh, this movie is one of the funniest movies that I had the privilege and opportunity to work on. When I first read the script, Ball Girls, I just, like, oh, my gosh. This kind of reminds me of the Bernie speaking Bernie movie. So I watched that. And um, I love that movie. I mean, who who, who doesn't like that movie? It's like a remake right. of that movie tied in with Girls Trap. So um, when I when I get the call to come, I was actually in Chicago. I'm a Chicago um, Yes. When I flew out and got the call to do Fall Girls in L.A., uh, all of us immediately connected, like all the Fall Girls. It was crazy. It's like we had been friends for the longest, but the chemistry there. The last is there. We all jailed. Amara, um, uh, Vanessa, uh, Tim Roman, jo- Joey Fisher, Paris. I look back at her piece of things because this cast was amazing. Eric yeah, Cooper, it is. It great book, you know. So we had small <laughs> eye candy on the set. We had, a, we had some eye candy. And I, I worked with him. I got the kiss all over him. Oh, I had see, look at there. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Are we going to get some this thing? <laughs> they just added it in. Come on. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that they added scenes up in happen. there. Huh? <laughs> but ha- nice to have those added scenes up in there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I was like, okay, you know, we got an ad lib here. Lots of ad lib. <laughs> Lots of that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But it was cool. It was fun. And working with Chris Stokes, I mean, come on. He, he's done film after film after film after film, and he literally is a talented director. Um, and it was just, I mean, he let us breathe life into it. So he 
he, you know, he added his opinion in it, and then he said, well, what's your opinion? And we collaborated. And that's how you get this movie that I think just flows so well from beginning, middle, and end, you know? I think yeah. people enjoy it. Yeah, I think it's an amazing, I mean, it's just, it's really, really funny. Can you tell us a little bit about um, what we can expect when we yeah. see the movie on Saturday? Like, what is it really about? I know it's about a boss and you guys taking yeah. a trip with her. So how does it kind of flow? Okay, so the movie Fall Girl <laughs> is about these women that work together. And it's uh, three of us. So we're like, ah, a boss is taking a weekend trip, and she's going to, like, this really classy resort to have this big-time conference. And so she comes up to us, and she's like, do you guys want to go? And we're like, oh, yeah. So we <laughs> end up going to this lavish, exclusive um, resort, and we're enjoying the life, you know. Um, all of a sudden, some mistakes happen. And um, we don't know who killed who. Somebody is dead. <laughs> and we're like, ah, you did it, you did it, you did it. I don't trust you. You look like you're not trustworthy. But we're all <laughs> each other. We're thinking about, like, you know, what happens the night before and what happens the night before. We get this party and, you know, what happens when you party. It's just That's a right. Too much. You know, our, our memory gets foggy. So um, we're trying to solve this crime, you know. And, um, Still get the deal going because she has a big deal, and we got to get this deal going because there's a lot of money on the line. And so, but but it ends so well. I don't want to give it away, but everybody right. thought how it ends because it's um it's a surprise ending. I oh, must say that. Like the yes, it's a surprise yeah. ending. Okay, so we have definitely have something to look forward to with that. Have you ever worked with any of the other uh, women that you uh, you know came across in Fall Girls? Um, no, I've only seen um, them on TV uh, okay. because of their, it's a lot of reality show um, talent. And mm-hmm. uh, so when I first started working with them, I know they all came from really popular shows, extremely popular shows. And um, I, was, I, was, I was surprisingly shocked how talented they are, you know. Yeah. The question that derives, a lot of people say, you know, with you – being a trained actress, how is it to work with reality stars? And I have to say, I like it. This is the third film that I've done with reality stars, because I have a film for Professor Mac coming out with mm-hmm. uh, Jack Tristy and Lisa Wu. And then um, I, I did some other stuff with a lot of reality stars. And I like it, you know. I, I, I like it because um, here's the thing. If I can tell when a person studies the script. If you mm-hmm. study the script and learn your lines and you're dedicated and committed, and I like you. You know, you, you're taking this craft uh, seriously. Now, if you come in and you don't take this craft seriously, that's when I'm like, oh, my God, it's right. <laughs> you know, I'm trained. I went to school for this, you know. That's right. Know you, the, know, you know the, the ins and outs of everything. Right. right. I'm a best fan. So, but, but surprisingly, everybody's going to like Fall Girls because everybody puts their hard work and dedication into this film. Okay, great. That sounds great. I mean, you guys have great chemistry, you know, from the trailer. Everybody's, like, melting together, and it looks awesome. But everybody had a completely, of course, different character, different personalities and and everything. So how do you personally identify with the character that you play? You play the role of Simone. I play the role of Tyra. Tyra. Um, Okay, Tyra. Tyra. But you know what? You your your question is so great. That's a really great question. So I had to change up on set um, the my backstory of my character a little bit because um, when I came in and doing character development work, I came in and I had my character set a certain way with her cadence, her man- mannerisms, her innuendos, her subtleties. But I saw everybody else's performances in the scene, and I was like, eh, they're too much alike. So. Right. Um, that, that's not going to make good for great TV. <laughs> it's not, you know, <laughs> and everybody's the same cookie cutter. But I, on set, the day of when we were in the scene, I was doing some work because I was like, mm, she kind of acts like this. She, she acts like her. This this. They have the same kind of, you know, subtlety. So, uh, with Tyra, I decided to make her a little bit more, um, I don't know if, if the audience has seen Black Coffee. But Black Coffee airs the same day as Fall Girls. Oh, my goodness. Look at all this good stuff that you guys are putting out. My gosh. 
Yeah, so if people haven't seen Black Coffee, they can see that, watch that, and then okay. watch Fall Girls. Because right, I okay. Kind of <laughs> I kind of took a little bit of Nita's character in Black Coffee and added it to Tyra. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, because I, I, in in the movie Fall Girls, um, some of the characters kind of were, I just want to be different than, than yeah. kind of everybody else. But I think when people see it, they'll know, they'll know, like, oh, okay, this is cool, you know, I like this Definitely, character. definitely. So do you, can you kind of identify with Tyra, like, in your own personality, you know, the way that Erica Hubbard is, you know, naturally, what kinds of things um, can you take from um, your own personality and say that you can kind of identify with Tyra? That's a really good question, and I'm glad <laughs> you brought that up. So I did a film called uh, Just a Friend. Yes, and, yeah, Just a Friend. Just a Friend. And uh, in that movie, how I can identify, I take a little bit of her, too. Because okay. Erica Hubbard is kind of like that character in that film, Just a Friend. And Wanda, you played Wanda. You played a great I role. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> now i got to get into the love life. <laughs> so, um, and this, this works for personality. This works for personality for, for women. This is a whole other subject matter, but I like to incorporate this in my character where mm-hmm. you kind of have, like, this dual personality. So you don't know what kind of woman you're going to get. <laughs> so that's what I am, you know, as far as, far as like, just, you know, just, just every day, you know, moseying around, you know, dating or whatever, whatever, relationships, whatever. Um, dating, uh, you know, on screen. I call it dating on screen, you know, mm-hmm. because in, in, in every movie I do, I have to date really or be in a relationship. Like, I can't. Every movie I have, like, a, some kind of, you know, love, Love moments. <laughs> but, right. Um, what the correlates to what I'm saying is, um, so it's a give and take thing with me and a lot of with my characters. So, um, I could, I could be the sassy girl like I was in, um, Let's Stay Together on BET, mm-hmm. you know, with mm-hmm. Kita playing here. But then you see that side to her where she's kind of subservient and she's, um, like Cassie on Lincoln Heights. So people say, well, well, which one are you? And I, I consider I'm both. I think right. me, I have the dual personality, and I think it works for relationships because it's a give and take. Like you know, even on screen, this is life every day. There's, there's, you don't want to be too much of one thing. You know, you want to be like that. Hey, right here I yeah. am. You know, what I mean? <laughs> that is so true. I mean, just in life in general. I mean, we kind of we kind of change up. You know, especially women. You know, we kind of change up our moods. You know, to kind of suit. You know, our our own purposes sometimes, or depending on how we feel. You know, sometimes I say, well, you know, the way that you, you're you acting kind of is going to dictate the way that I'm acting. So you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> you never know. And that's just everything so, so lively. You never know, you know. That's and, what you um, do. You never know. You never know. I like, you know, I like to have a dual personality, you know, because um, you just, you just kind of want to be lighthearted in life. Mm-hmm. You know, just mm-hmm. kind of go with the flow and um, not take anything too serious because it is like just, just you know, be optimistic as you can be. And that's what I like with my, um, the, a lot of the roles that I, I can relate to them because they have those moments where they're lighthearted and they have those moments where they kind of put their foot down. And I think that's just, that's just life, you know? Yeah, that's absolutely right. I like the way you answer that because that's true. You have to have moments where, you know, things are fun and carefree, but you also have to know when to, you know, put your foot down and be serious. So that's definitely a, a true thing um, with life in general. But is there something, yeah. Erica, that you do that helps you focus, you know, to help you get into character while you're filming? Is there something, like, special that you do? Yeah, I um, like to listen to a lot of music. So um, depending on what role it is, I'll um, listen to certain music. Now, if I have to bring out, like, the whole grindier side type of character, um, I did this movie called The Other Side. I think it's still airing on Star Stars Network. And uh, I had to listen to certain type of music for that role. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, get into that, yeah. that mood, that kind of dark mood, you know? Yes! That, yes. that role was challenging for me because she... She didn't. She was confused. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> so, 
had to listen to certain music that was just kind of made me angst, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Wow, well, yeah, to get into that character. But for us all girls, it was um, so lighthearted to me that um, it was just, it's, a, it's a comedy. Um, yeah. I'm listening to, you know, happy go lucky, you know, music. I've been listening to music to get in character a lot of times. It helps. Okay. Yeah, I think music kind of sets the pace and the mood and, and gets you focused a little bit. So I'm glad that you shared that. But the trailer, oh, my gosh, for Fall Girls, having <laughs> tears laughing, it is so funny. Oh, my goodness, when, when Amara uh, has said something to someone about somebody had to give up their lace front, it, yes. <laughs> and you, you replied, well, give her, give her yours. And she was like, no, this was text. To fit my head. That was hilarious. I was laughing so hard. Oh my God. It was crazy. So I know there are probably thousands, thousands of funny moments on the set. I mean, you can probably just go back in your mind and think of all of them. But what was one of the funniest things that happened while filming Fall Girls? Oh my gosh, it's in the trailer. Oh my God, that's raised when the body falls off the sea, off the Oh, and, and it was real moments because sometimes the, the, the stunts were they'd be like, ow, ow, ow. We were like, oh my God. It was crazy. And then we had to pick her up. And then, <laughs> that was you know, wild. I was like, you guys pick her up. I'm too small for this. So it was, it was funny. That moment right there was hilarious. And just trying to, um, have this, body throughout the film <laughs> and make it look alive. Right, know? right. <laughs> and not have anybody catch those moments, you know, where they would find out that this is not a, you know, a live person. So there was a lot, a lot of stuff going on where we had to, you know, kind of cover up some stuff, you know. But it was yeah. fun. So much fun. So much fun. Yeah, it, it looked like it was a lot of fun and I can imagine like, you know, all the you know, outtakes and things that you guys are doing, just laughing and having to do things again because you guys are just cracking up at everything that's happening. Yeah. So it, it just looks yeah. like a really fun movie. I mean, you can tell. So it is premiering on Saturday, January 12th. And will people be able to catch it at any other time on BET? Oh, yeah. Um, people, they'll, they'll re- make, uh, rerun uh, Fall Girls on BET. And then they're also, uh, her, which is the sister station of BET, and um, it will be airing on BET at 9 p.m. Eastern, so, you know, wherever, if, if you're in um, the Midwest, then that would be 8, if you're in the West Coast, then that would be what is that, three hours behind, so it's 9, 8, 7, so um, don't forget 9 p.m. Eastern, and uh, thank you for the support and watching. I hope everybody laughs. They have a good time. Have a screening party. And then I don't know. Let you know on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter about your screening parties and stuff. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a, a thing that people would love to have screening parties. I could definitely see people getting into the whole mood of, of Fall Girls because it's just so funny. And it's like a, a combination of, like, girls trip, like you said, it's just got that element that everybody can relate to being together or coworkers or doing something, you know, fun and everything. So speaking of social media, Erica, how can people reach out to you and find out more about you or your website or things that you're doing? Um, you know, I um, am addicted to Instagram. <laughs> it's <worth> it. <laughs> I, I, but I just got off Facebook. I'm just like, oh, my God. I'm always <laughs> online. I have to pry myself away from being online. So, I mean, I like to respond. I'm on, um, you can catch me on all the social media sites. Like, uh, if you're on Instagram, it's one, Erica Hubbard, the number one. And, uh, Facebook is just Erica Hubbard. And Twitter is just Erica Hubbard. So, yeah, come online and, you know, let me know what everybody thinks about all the movies. Because, you know what, like, even if they watch the other side, they'll be like, oh, that's so different from Soul Girls or Black Box. And I like that. I like the from everybody, you know? Yeah. I love yeah. support. Well, love you are, are well-loved, and everybody loves what you're oh. doing. Yeah, so are there any special shout-outs that you'd like to give? Um, Shout-out, shout-out. Um, I mean, I'm a humanitarian, so all my shout-outs will be. So I'm philanthropy. I'm, I, just, <laughs> I just want to shout-out everybody that, you know, who went through the fire after their houses burned down after um before Christmas in California. Oh, yeah, my goodness. All those brave firefighters. 
Oh, my gosh, they're heroes. Shout they are definitely out. heroes. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm shouting out to the people that um, the shutdown, I think, is almost over with. I think the Senate just passed the bill. So the people that were living paycheck to paycheck that couldn't pay their rent, shout out to you guys for being, uh, just being, being uh, have strength to endure that. So I want to shout right. out to those. I want, I want to shout out to um, like all the people who do philanthropy work. You know, passing, uh, going to the community, seeing the people, the homeless for the holidays. Shout out to people like that. You know, because that's what matters. Giving back. I have my foundation, the Eric Hubbard Foundation, and we're getting ready to give a scholarship to an at-risk youth for college. So when they graduate, they have some money to pay for books because that's expensive. So shout out to everybody in school that's getting ready to graduate this year. Keep going. <laughs> Keep yes, yes. I love you guys. And that's all. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you, you're doing amazing everybody. things, especially with being able to, you know, send somebody off to college and things like that. Yes. Your foundation is incredible. And it's so important. I mean, the people that sometimes get overlooked, like you said, like you know, the firefighters out there risking their lives, and, you know, people who had to deal with, you know, the government shutdown and things like that. People that, you know, you, you hear about it in the news and then you kind of, you know, go on with your everyday life and, and, you know, they're still struggling. So thank you for shouting out all of those yeah. people. You know, that's that's awesome. You know, so Erica Hubbard is always, always, always a treat to talk to you. Not only because you're involved in so many fabulous projects, but because you have an amazing personality and that, that shines through definitely um, today. And you're remembered by everyone. And I cannot wait until Saturday to watch Fall Girls. Thank you. Thank you so much. And it was so good talking with you. And thank you for supporting Fall Girls. Thank you so much. You are welcome.